What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video. Today I'm doing an unboxing of NTH. This is the Ampion. This is a dive watch that uh, I have had my eye on for a very long time. I contacted the brand a few times and finally they did get back to me and they lent me this watch in for review so I do have to send it back. I'm super excited about this watch. So the outside is a cardboard and it just has the name NTH on there and then some uh, of the uh, model information here. So it's brand NTH, model Amphion. This is the vintage gilt with date. So you could get this with or without date. So uh, with the date, this gets the um, 9015 Miyota, and then without, I think it's the 90S5, uh, but uh, that's the only difference between the two models. Uh, inside, you get this little, I forget what they call this. This is the, the, the card holder that basically just gets put onto the back of your cell phone, so you can put a credit card. It's just something useful that they include instead of giving you something that you'll just throw away or put in a put it back into the box and put it into your closet and never look at it again kind of cool it has the uh the warranty card sitting in there really not bad not a bad idea at all um again i'm all for that because it's something that you can use again here we go another thing that you can use which i like um i like when watch brands think about these things and they do these things uh, another watch case. It is a single watch case holder. And of course it houses your new NTH. So, um, this is branded NTH. Very nice. Uh, it is a leather or a PU leather feels very nice uh, and very well made inside. Of course you have the watch. It is a velvet on the inside. looks very nice. Comes with two extra links, even though there are a ton of extra links on the watch itself. And then there's just a silica, uh, a silica packet in here, and that is it. So looking at the watch, and I'll just peel off some of the plastic here so we can see the dial. This is the gilt dial, as I mentioned. And this has a printed dial. However, the gilt is raised a little bit, so it almost looks like these are applied. The hands are gilt and the name is also gilt. You can see the color match date here at six. Very clean looking dial, very clean looking watch in general. It has some hints of Rolex, some hints of Tudor, uh, but it doesn't look like a homage watch. It looks like its own watch and I really like it. Um, and I will just peel off the back. The back has a very simple back on it. It just says automatic sapphire and uh, 316L steel. It is signed NTH three times, which is nice. Signed crown. It is signed NTH as well and screwed in, of course. Drilled lugs and the watch itself just feels very, very well finished. Uh, no areas that I would say are sharp. Everything feels very smooth and buttery. Uh, of course, the links are screwed in. Milled buckle with a nice amount of uh, micro adjust there, double deployant with a fold over clasp. And I will take off some of these plastic pieces here so we can get a good look at this. Uh, of course, we have a couple of different finishes, some nice chamfered edges on the buckle and a really solid close to that. It is very nice. You could hear that. I'm obsessed with buckles, if you haven't noticed. And um, there you go. Now, one of the really nice things about this watch, one of the things that really stood out to me the moment I saw NTH in general, uh, of course, is bezel action. The bezel action on this is, again, I think is taken it. It's it could give my JLC a run for its money. And when I do the full review of this, I will bring my JLC and we will put it side by side and see which one has a better bezel action. But let's hear it right now. One hundred twenty click 
bezel unidirectional. This is a PVD DLC coated bezel. So this is a steel bezel uh, with a little bit of a red accent there. Uh, I will do a very quick loom shot. You do get 300 meters of water resistance on this. So uh, very, very nice. A lot of uh, water resistance there that is not entirely needed, of course, but uh, they don't make many sacrifices here because it is not a thick watch. You could see this is not thick for a 300 meter dive watch. Really quick, I will do a wristwatch check. Today I am wearing my SBDC061. Uh, this is on a Moose Strap Co. Uh, Premium Plus NATO. It is awesome and I've been wearing it on this for the past two days and it's just awesome. I love this strap. Of course, you know you know how much I love the SBDC061. Uh, I will take this off and I will put the NTH on. The NTH is a 40 millimeter watch. The uh, SBDC is a lot larger. It's actually 44 millimeters. So uh, 40 millimeters without the crown, of course, 48 millimeters lug to lug and 11.5 millimeters thick on this watch. Not a big watch whatsoever. And I could show you how much extra links they give you with this watch. The, the watch has two extra links on the side. This is a brand new watch. I mean, and it, I could fit three, four fingers underneath. There's gonna be an extra three or four links right there, but just to get an idea of what it looks like on my wrist. 40 millimeters is really a sweet spot. This, this fits perfectly. 140 grams on the bracelet, so a pretty substantial watch. Uh, I'm not sure if they're measuring that or weighing that with all of these extra links, but um, just a really good, uh, you know, just a really good all around everyday watch. I would say this is, uh, comes on this really nice oyster style bracelet, very solid end links. Uh, like I said, milled buckle, which I am a big fan of and a double dome sapphire crystal. It's not extremely domed. It's actually very slightly domed. So, uh, it does not protrude out, and that also adds to the thinness, that 11.5 millimeters, which is just fantastic. Drilled lugs, I love that. I love drilled lugs on a watch, and that's great. What I'll do is I will shut off the lights and we will do a quick loom shot. I don't know if the bezel is loomed, but we'll find out in a moment. Well, there you have it. You can see that not only is the bezel loomed, but the crown is loomed. This is a loom monster. Tons of loom on that bezel. I think that they must have just poured loom into this bezel because it is insanely bright. You can see when I put my fingers near it, it just glows onto my fingers. It is really like a torch. It's very, very, very bright. Uh, so loom on this is excellent. I will do a loom comparison with this watch because I'm not sure if this is the brightest watch that I've had on my channel. It could be, and I will definitely do a loom comparison with some other micro brands and major brands. Of course, I have my SBDC061 right here, and you can see this is quite brighter than that, uh, and I charge them both at the same time. So anyway, I will be wearing this watch over the next few weeks and I will be doing a full test of this watch and I will let you guys know. I'm gonna size it up for my seven and a half inch wrist and uh, definitely be wearing it. I really like the style of this watch. I think it's a really good everyday watch. I really like the style of this watch. I think it'll be a, a pretty good daily wearer. 675 for this watch with or without the date, I believe. Uh, so pretty good pricing on here. Uh, I will put a link to their website below. I will put a link also to the watch gauge who also carried this watch um, and definitely check out their website if you are interested in these watches. Uh, and I will uh, catch you in the next video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel. Please also follow me on Instagram at watch Chris blog and I will catch you in the next watch video. Thanks for logging on.